Go into your Royal Caribbean app. On the first page here, if you click down at the bottom, it says, Welcome aboard. Here will be some basic information and knowledge for you to kind of look over and read over prior to your cruise. Also, if you're the one who likes to um, take a part in the recommended dress code daily, this is where um, that information will be. It will be posted closer to your sail date and during your cruise. So, for instance, maybe day two, if you scroll down the bottom, it'll say dress code, dress your best. Day three might be tropical shirt knot. Day four might be resort casual. Things like that. It's just recommended. It is not required. Also, when you've done your check-in, they asked you to... Um, to leave a credit card or debit card information for your onboard purchases. To keep track of your onboard purchases, you'll click the account button. Here will list any purchases that you have made um, during your cruise. So you can check this hourly, daily, um, at the end of the cruise, um, whichever one you prefer. It's there for you to look at at any time. If you happen to have a drink package, it will have the location that you received a drink at, but it'll have a zero beside of it. So if I had the drink package and I went to the casino bar and got a drink, it would have casino bar and zero beside of it. Hit the safety button at the bottom. Here is where you will start your mustard drill. We always do this on the way to the port. So you'll click the little blue arrow here under life jacket instruction. Watch a very short video. After the video, it will have everyone that's in your stateroom, your cabin listed. Click that you have watched those this video. After that, scroll down to the emergency horn. <clears throat> click the little blue arrow. Make sure you have listened to this horn all the way through. Once that has been complete, it'll have a little like green box above it. It says complete. Once these two things have been completed, you can go to your muster station that's listed up here at top. This will be different depending on which cabin you are in and which ship you are in. So, for instance, ours is on deck four, the attic. So, if I want to find this location, I hit find on deck. It has it highlighted here. So after we watch those videos or once we board, since we already watched it prior to getting to the port, we just go straight here. They ask for your name, your room number, and they check you off your list. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So uh, click on the daily planner. This is pretty much like the cruise compass. All the activities for the day and the time will be listed here. So you can just scroll through and find the ones that you would like to um, take a part in or remember to do. Uh, once you find those, you can click on the, um, the thing and it'll have Add to Calendar. We'll click on the Add to Calendar and it will go under where it says My Calendar. This will keep everything that you want to do or uh, participate in here uh, without adding all the other stuff that you do not want to um, take a part in. It will also have any reservations that you have made. So, for instance, on day three, we have a specialty dining reservation in Wonderland. So, and on day five, we have the excursion swim with dolphins so those have already been listed but once i get on board i will find the shows or the activities that i would want to do and i'll click to add to my calendar and that's where it'll go is over here if you will go to the little ship icon this will be pretty much um, your map for the your sailing it has each deck and what is located on that deck 
So it's very convenient when you are on the larger ships when um, certain elevators will only go to certain parts of the ship, things like that. So this kind of helps break that down for you. Also, down to the bottom, each tab is listed here. It's pretty much breaking down the cruise compass. So if you want to look just at entertainment, closer to your sailing and daring your cruise, all the entertainment will be listed here. So for instance, in the Aqua Theater, if you'll click on it, all the shows that they will have listed for your sailing will be listed here. And you can click on to reserve that show or add it to my calendar <clears throat> for you to make sure you don't forget to go to that. Also, you can click on find on deck and it'll give you the location of the venue. So, same thing for the Royal Theater. If they have different shows in there, I'll have them all listed here. The time and where you can add it or make reservations to your calendar. If you'll go under dining, here you can see menus. Um, if you'll go over to main dining, you can click any three of these. The menu will be the same. Click on it and click menu. And it will have the daily menu for um, the main dining. And they do change the dinner menu each day. So, for instance, the dinner menu here is different, obviously, than day one see day three they offer breakfast lunch and dinner in the main dining room so you can check all the menus uh, here and decide if you you know want to eat in the main dining room that night or if you want to go to the wind jammer or if you want to do a special day yawning um, that gives you the option to kind of go ahead and look over that prior to your cruise or even during your cruise if you want to look at any of the special day dining menus um, just scroll to the one that you want to look at. Let's see, let's go to Jamie's Italian. Click on the menu, and it will have the menu listed here that's offered in this restaurant. These type of restaurants are specialty dining, so you do have to um, pay to eat at these locations and make reservations. But it also has the cost um, that it would cost to do that. But you would make your reservations uh, once you're on board for the for these places. So that and on bars you can go to you can go to any bar on here, click on it. The menu will be listed as any of their like specialty drinks maybe for that bar. It'll also have their times because their bars are diff open different times of the day um, and here it'll have listed the times that they are open so for instance the casino bar is only open on certain days and certain times and then if you go to let's see the pool bar here see it'll have all the times and days that it listed here so basically this is going to be your lifeline your map your cruise compass your everything um, during your cruise